All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I guess we having a pretty productive uh, day yesterday. <clears throat> Did a little coding, you know, working on the game. I'm still thinking about like how I want to hire my voice actors because I could try Twitter and just see what random people I get. Um, I was going to try to see if I can give it to like actual military people or other fellow Christian types, but I don't know. It's going to be a lot of issues, but uh, we'll see. I mean, I still have plenty of backup plans. I can go through my old contacts from my old acting days, or I could just go on Fiverr, which is definitely my safe bet. So, and hire a voice actors and actresses there. Uh, also, for some reason, I woke up at like 5.30 a.m. and couldn't go back to sleep, so now I feel like all like crap and stuff. And now I'm a little sick because of the lack of sleep. Like, I don't know. I was lifting weights yesterday. I, I mean, I guess I must have screwed up on, um, on my... On, on eating yesterday, but I kept it, I kept it within like 16, 1700 calories. But I had like a, I did have like a 90 calorie um, yogurt with with some sugar in it. I, I mean, I guess that was enough to screw everything up. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. So anyway, I didn't do any research at all. Uh, I'm also kind of tired, obviously, so I probably kind of just go through this. Uh, yeah. And I, I just got like stuff to do. All right, so so no, nothing's been released for this week because obviously it's Tuesday. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's up with Coin Market Cap supply. It's like all over the place. <clears throat> Coin Gecko says sixty-four point four billion in the last twenty-four hours, which is better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, Bitcoin does at 56.36%. Bitcoin has recovered pretty nicely along with the rest of the market, so it's at 10,900. 890, it's actually 892, but close enough. Litecoin's been kind of disappointed. I don't know why this thing's having such a hard time recovering. Um, but there's a lot of red on this page, too. But I can clearly see there's improvements in prices, so it's only going to be a matter of time before Litecoin goes back up. It's at 49.50. Very frustrating for me personally, but well, I mean, this is the same exact thing that happened in 2016. The only difference was I was already making money, so I didn't really care at that time. You know, I was just too busy trying to figure out how to move out of my parents' place. Dog coins at 354 million market cap. So it looks like I think it recovered a little bit or something. I don't even remember. I don't, I don't even check the prices like, unless I'm doing these videos. I usually just check Bitcoin's price. Um, let's see. All right. So it looks like the... I've already refreshed to make sure we get the right stuff. So yesterday was a pretty good day for the market. Today looks like it's going to be pretty decent. Uh, Rommel, RF. Hmm. SoftBank backed open door to go public via 4.8 billion merger. That's kind of nuts. U.S. import prices increased more than expected in August. Actually, I do want to read that. That's kind of interesting. Amazon launches invite-only luxury stores. Oh, boy. Um, there's an Apple event later today. I don't really care. Stop sucking up all my damn bandwidth. Um, don't care. Stock market rally gets a win. Apple and buy zone. Yeah. All right. So it looks like uh, whatever this that flash. I don't want to call it a flash crash, but like that really quick correction seems to be over with. So and I know it technically doesn't meet the definition because the correction is supposed to be 20 or 30 percent at least, and it has to happen quickly. But um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, because hey, you know, at the end of the day, we're making dough. Wait, this is Chrome. Uh, no options. All right, so Ev Evan's doing good too. All right, it's a good sign for crypto. JMC coins at four or five. Yeah, nothing really to write home about. Uh, 404 doing okay, 71 to 74. Now that this chaos is seemingly over, it looks like the crypto markets are also stabilizing too. 
Two by two is going back to its normal price, eight to 10. Rix is at 18 to 20 or 19. Uh, there's actually a trading contest too, and we'll get to that in a second. Because one, because I actually managed to get the 100 coin thing finally to start running today. So, you know, I, I think Crex only operates like four or five days a week, and the problem is they're located on like, like they only operate when I'm mostly asleep. So there's a very small window for them to communicate with me. So we were playing email tag for like, you know, since last week, <laughs> since Thursday, to get this trading contest up. So anyway, um, yeah, so Rix has a contest going on right now. Um, I guess it's a decent amount of money. But I'm definitely taking note of how effective it is. Um... Now, assuming this is not fake volume, like, it definitely increases your trade volume, but the price doesn't seem to be improving, so um, I don't know. I mean, at first it was great, but now uh, I'm not really sure. So it's definitely something to watch. Uh, 100 coin uh, has gone up, now it's at 23.7 to 32.8 Satoshi's of Bitcoin, which is obviously great. In fact, most of the gains were actually just like within the past hour. I don't even know why the hell it's been hammered so much. Um, so that being said, and obviously I still have a lot of the supply, so I'm obviously being very smart with not dumping. Or if I do dump, it's very small amounts. I'm not gonna say how much, but you know, and uh, yeah, because eventually people are gonna realize, hey, wait a minute, it all there's only 144k coins per day, and it's way better than Bitbean, but you know, obviously not nearly as good. Uh, black coin, which is fine because black coin is still the king coin. We want to be the guys in the middle. And then it's like, hey, this thing's way underpriced. So I'm glad that's happening. Um, how much of an effect this, uh, let me see, how much of an effect this trading contest is having, though? I mean, that remains to be seen. Because I had to, because I put it, because I had to pay for this prize pool. So that's like 10,100 coins. So I, prefer, <clears throat> I definitely want to see a lot of price increases because it really should be worth around 100 Satoshis of a Bitcoin. It should be like 10% what Speedcoin is, which is, um, I mean, I don't know. Who knows? But the thing is, I also haven't really been um, promoting Speedcoin that much. It's, it's, not, it's on a very, I mean, because the thing's minting so slow. But... If this go if 100 coin goes well, I probably will also do like a speed coin thing too. But there's so little supply, so and that's good because that was on purpose to keep the price up. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, let me see. The winner will get TS4, and would always say. Uh, yeah. So anyway, 100 coins doing pretty well. Um, I don't know. Let's hope uh, it keeps doing. Uh, it continues to maintain its momentum. I, I'm definitely seeing a lot more buying pressure, so that's always good. Speed coins at 92 and a half to 103 Satoshis of Bitcoin, basically. But it's definitely underpriced, so, and I really haven't been selling. In fact, it's so expensive, it's so restricted, I don't even think anyone's even minting a speed coin. Um, you know, because pretty much all the stuff that I ever did manage to sell is mostly on Crex, and obviously that's not a staking platform. So, all right. So that basically means people think it's too uh, too expensive, which I think I'm actually okay with, even though I like to see some more action happening. Because again, it's supposed to be the high quality coin. Uh, so basically it's an investment. All right. So anyway, um, the 100 coin contest will run for about, I forget what I told it. I think next, I think I, it's going to end September 22nd, so that's next Tuesday or next Monday. I don't know, but you'll but you'll have plenty of time to trade, so it's going to be good. Uh, oh wow! If I bump this thing, there's actually uh, no bounties. Yeah, actually, I need to re read these things. Um, okay, I actually need to bump up these old threads. Um, because I actually realize it's actually getting some views on uh, Bitcoin talk. Uh, let's see. Any bounties? 
Oh, and what's nice is not the moment now. Not at the moment. We all work for free. Yeah, I'm not paying for any bounties. All right, so since I'm replying to that guy, I don't have to bump, all right, because replying is the bump, so that's actually pretty good content for the thread. Um, I need to go to speed coin A and N. Okay, then bump it so people can find out more. Because I still have my finance website and my video game website pumping out content every uh, constantly every day. Um, not gonna get into the specifics of that, uh, but the thing is, I think uh, like the game, my video game website content is actually like already has like four hundred and five pages indexed on Google. Uh, my finance, side, on the other hand, is still stuck around one sixty. It's been like that for a week, so I think the problem is it's just a lot of competition. So it, it's just gonna take some time before Google gets around to it. Um, so and I'm not doing like black hat SEO shit with like link building and stuff. In fact, I don't even like getting links anymore. I get like the bare minimum. And I just never want to get them again, which is how Google wants you to do it. You know, fewer is less is more. Fewer is better. Um, let me see. Oh, man. I see I, I'm, I'm just really grog because obviously I barely got any sleep and I'm sick. All right, so that looks pretty good. All right, so there we go. Um, do this. Uh, yeah, very good. All right, we're set. All right, nothing new on my channel. Uh, nothing new with Trump. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, saying stuff. There's Hurricane Sally. I thought that thing already passed. Unless it's a new hurricane. Uh, all, right, blah, 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 blah. all right, so they're trying to start World War Three with Iran, and they say they... Iran wants to retaliate, so they want to assassinate the South African ambassador from America. It's like, there's no strategic importance with that. All you do is just piss off America, right? So it's obviously a deep state fake bullshit, Trump. He may or may not realize it's fake, or if he does realize it's fake, he's playing along, quote unquote, because, you know, who knows? Um, but. All right, Russia's largest bank joins blockchain trade finance platform. Sure, yeah, Coin Telegraph is so much better. Binance sued for allegedly facility monitoring with lax KYC. Uh, probably from New York, because obviously New York, fuck New York. Uh, the government that we have here, that is. Um, DApps can help send push notifications to Ethereum wallet users. Yeah, I was actually thinking if I could join JMC Coin, 100 Coin, and two, uh, not two by two, Speed Coin on Ethereum, then I then then we use Ethereum as the payment gateway. But it's a lot of like confusing um, coding that I have to do. But I think that can come later, right? Once my game, if I make it that far, my game gets that popular, I'll actually probably have finally like a real following and i just simply ask okay can someone help me with the ethereum implementation of crypto and all that blah 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 if it works you know i'll just like you know give you a share of the something or whatever oh i'll pay them pretty well you know let crypto poly target smash speakers freeze you know future traders are short bitcoin three years and won't stop the rally mm, i mean there's a lot of reasons why someone would short it all right Russia's large bank. Oh, that's where. I don't care about KYC. Yeah, these these thumbnails are so so good. We're massively bullish on 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 Bitcoin. Okay, I definitely have to mute this site now. The Tron Network is about to get its first ever public oracle system. Hmm. Actually, maybe I do want to read this from for technical reasons. Uh, don't care. Don't explain our Bitcoin price catastrophic dump. Yeah, actually, we already had our dump. Uh, and it only went down to 10,000. So, yeah. Uh, and it's already back up to almost 11 grand. Top grid. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, let's see. All right, let's see. What do we got? So, import prices beat expectations. Um... Inflation's going up. Well, I guess that would make sense because obviously we're flooding... The world with money. Mm, excuse me. And the and the tribe that cannot be named or even hinted at is obviously trying to destroy our economy. So they must be pretty pleased with this. Because their goal is to cause as much damage and chaos as possible, so everyone will blame Trump for it. 
U.S. import prices increased, and it'll, and it'll work because there are a lot of retards out there. U.S. import prices increased more than expecting all the gains in the prior month and revised short players to point of view that inflation was building. The report from the Labor Department Tuesday followed. Yeah, I'm still distracting my EverQuest. I just want to make sure no one is like dying and shit. <laughs> yeah. What's actually nice, because there's actually a botter in like the place I'm hunting at, and the guy's literally running a uh, automated bot. Like it just runs around, and kills everything. He must be making so much in-game money running his damn bot. Um, so I mean, I I could actually report, I'd probably get him banned, but so far he's actually hasn't really been um, like his bot is programmed to avoid me or any player that's like actually hunting. To not piss people off so it's like all right you know i mean it's not hurting me so at least not yet the august gains of primary rush of life support the view that the fleshy bridges are building up their poor familiar on tuesday filed data last week showing further increase in both consumer and producer prices in august firming inflation hour is unlikely to discourage the federal reserve from injecting more money into the economy to aid the recovery from okay i guess uh Okay, the U.S. Central Bank in August rewrote its framework, putting new emphasis on the labor market, less worries about high inflation. Yeah, there's no point about inflation if nobody can, like, buy shit, right, because everyone's unemployed. Import prices, okay. Yeah, and because we're not making stuff, we're probably importing, too. Yeah, this actually seems pretty normal. Fuels and lubricants rose. Excellent fuels and fuel appropriate accelerated. Yeah, this doesn't seem that bad. The cost of goods and for China is always unchained August after rising. Yeah, that's not even much. Yeah, okay. So this looks pretty normal then. So and usually importation is actually pretty good too. Like both imports and exports are good. What matters is that you have a balanced economy. Right? Because you have two if all you do is exports, then you get screwed when your home currency when your home currency rises in value. Right, because now your exports are more expensive to people, so they just won't buy it. They'll just buy something cheaper, and it's not going to be you. Uh, when you're importing stuff, then that's usually a good sign. I mean, it's very counterintuitive, but I took this shit. I read a lot of books, especially the Kenneth Fisher books. So I'm just giving you the short summary. When you're importing something, you're use, you're obviously going to use it to you know make something even better, and right? that's usually what it means. Right. For example, like in my case, right, I'm making my game. Right. Well, I buy assets from the asset store. That's like you could think of it as an import because I didn't make it. Someone else made it. I just simply brought it into my game. All right. That's a that's a form of importation. In this case, digital <laughs> importation. So because I'm saying intend to, you know, do something greater with it. Right. You know, it happens all the time. So imports and exports are very important. It's just how money goes, because it goes in a cycle. Russia's largest bank joins blockchain trade finance. Uh, Swiss are Russia's largest bank is exploring blockchain-based trading. Up subsidiary, okay, Spur Bank has joined a blockchain, blah, blah, blah. Spur Bank, Switzerland AG, signed an agreement with the Comgo, okay. I'm not gonna pronounce any of these names. Representatives from uh, Russia told Cointelegraph that the collaboration with Swiss addresses, okay, blah, 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 head of trade, blah, 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 blah. in recent years, trade finance decentralization, digitalization has accelerated dramatically following the needs of market players. Yeah, especially with censorship, too, going up. Previous report, Congo, one of its purposes is to accelerate trade finance transactions while under these program. okay. Uh, the bank is also reportedly concerning launching its own stable coin paid one to one to the Russian ruble. Well, I don't know, rubles are gonna they're gonna have a lot, have to have a lot of rubles. But that's actually pretty good though. Let's see, this is really good overall. This also makes it so that like Putin's not gonna shit on you know cryptocurrencies. Like, well, like you know, we we put the Russian flag, put the Russian name on it, and now I want to shit on it. You know, I don't want to do that because that's anti-Russian. It's like ah. Oh, I got. I gotta let cryptocurrency into my country, you know, and that's good because we want the more people that use crypto, the faster this bull market can reach its uh, bubble phase, and then we could just start making, you know, start making real money again. And in my case, I can get the hell out of New York because you know Cuomo and De Blasio is destroying this place. The Trump network is about to get its for and also if when when Trump, I mean he should uh, when Trump. Trump I don't know 
why I said I like twomp, like a W. When Trump wins, we are re wins re-election. That's why, because the, there's a W word right after right after the word Trump. Uh, the Democrats are gonna go like batshit crazy, and they're just gonna like just burn everything down. Right? You know, like they have they have the support of the DOJ, the FBI, the CIA, and the Democrat Party. Like they're just gonna be like total traitors. And it's gonna get pretty bad. The Triad Network is about to get its first ever public oracle system, but the flip side to that is it's nice because, you know, uh, America First will get stronger, uh, people will also just start hating the left even more, so it's going to be pretty good. Like I, like, I even see people on Twitter that say they're progressives and voting for Bernie, and they're just like, okay, I don't give a shit, we're going to vote for Trump even though I don't want to, because, you know, the Democrats are being, like, assholes, so... Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. The new project says it is delivering the first public oracle system to try and network a milestone that's very to expand the blockchain's use cases. The new project says it is delivering the first ever public uh, put a team behind bridge oracle lack of this interest is currently a pain point as it limits the blockchain's use case to a tokenization platform. They believe that the creation of the system is crucial for attracting um Okay. Uh, this could help try our product. Okay, okay, what does this thing actually do? Uh, if only our local server on block has well been from peer to peer payment on the trial using native coin and tokens. Poor smart contracts. Oracles make blockchains more than just a tool for us, and they also look at a program ecosystem. The bridge aims to deliver this connection, meaning that decentralized apps can finally be created for order use on the Tron blockchain. Although, yeah, because I'm looking into using Ethereum, but maybe I could use Tron. I think they're trying developers. Uh, so there should be a project to fill a gap based on. Uh, okay. I can surpass Ethereum soon. The team draws around the good ideas of the internet when they showed it how this whole chain wasn't ready to use. Kind of such work from Juma came along as technical heroes were just out for smaller firms. Yeah, the main problem that I'm having is the payment gateway. Because I can create the software, like you play my game, but you know, it needs to be easy for you and me to send back and forth cryptocurrency. Right now we don't have that. But I'm glad that they, they, like, they clearly see that that's a problem. You have a breach token on the blockchain. Did it initialize a deep? Uh, Top advisors. Uh, see, this would have been so much easier if I just turned my coin into a token. <clears throat> but the thing is, it would be considered an ICO, so I'm not really sure how the hell. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you, know, you just sell in the open market, right? You know, and there's no promise of anything. Uh, okay, having a scheduled in late 2020. It's got expected to be live in 2022. I still don't understand the smart contract stuff, but it does look like that's the way I want to go. Um, I'm gonna make this the thumbnail. This is just so much. Uh, this is just so much funnier. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we continue growing this channel. All right. So I'm quite tired. I'm going to go take a nap, try and see if I can recover a little bit of my lost sleep. All right. You know, because the only reason why I'm sick is because my body's just tired, which make, doesn't make sense. I've been getting great sleep this whole time. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't know. Either way, I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Um, don't worry about the trade contest. It's going to run until like next two, Monday or next Tuesday. I forgot. So get ready for that, uh, I, I, I'm guessing. I mean, I saw this similar behavior too. So I think what might be happening is people are buying coins now in anticipation of stumping and then buying again. Um, so, I don't know. Well, I'm going to have to hope that this will work for 100 coin, but um, I don't know. I just feel it more as a marketing gimmick. It's a very expensive gimmick. Uh, but I have to try it out just to see. So, uh, excuse me. Because ah, I got to make sure I don't get hiccups. So, that's why I have to force the burp out. So, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And always remember.
Johnson Chen, JFC coin, 100 coin, speed coin. Yeah, I really like these robotic ants. It's like, how, who does their artwork? Like, it must be expensive. 